In this video, we will be factoring basic quadratic expressions in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to one, using the graph of the corresponding or related quadratic function. Looking at the notes below, if we have the quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can write this in the form of a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the zeros of the quadratic function, where zeros are the x values that make y or the function value equal to zero. To determine the zeros, we determine the horizontal intercepts or x-intercepts of the graph. So by determining the horizontal intercepts of the graph, we will be able to write the given quadratic expressions in factored form. However, when we graph a quadratic function on the coordinate plane, there are three possible outcomes. We can have two distinct horizontal intercepts as we see in this graph here, where x equals negative three and x equals positive two are both zeros of the quadratic function, and therefore the function can be written in the form of a times the quantity x minus negative three times the quantity x minus two, which simplifies to a times the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus two. Or we can have one horizontal intercept, which we see in this graph, Notice how the graph touches the horizontal axis at x equals negative four and then bounces back. When this happens, we say the zero of x equals negative four is a double zero and we let r sub one and r sub two equal negative four, which gives us two factors of x minus negative four, which simplifies to two factors of x plus four or the quantity x plus four squared. The third possibility is to have no horizontal intercepts. When this happens, because there are no real zeros for the function, ax squared plus bx plus c has no binomial factors. So going back to our examples, to factor x squared minus two x minus eight by analyzing a graph, we need to graph y equals x squared minus two x minus eight. Now I've already provided the graph here on the right, but let's graph this on the TA-84 and review how to find the horizontal intercepts on the graphing calculator. We press y equals to begin, enter the function y equals x squared minus two x minus eight. To start, let's use the standard window by pressing zoom and then six. This sets the standard window. As long as we see the intercepts, we don't have to adjust the window. We don't have to see the vertex in order to calculate the horizontal intercepts. And we can see from the graph, we have a horizontal intercept at x equals negative two, as well as x equals positive four. But let's review how to calculate them using the calculation menu. We press second trace for the calculation menu, and then select two for zero. We can only find one zero at a time. Let's find the horizontal intercept on the left. Notice how it's asking for the left bound. We need to move the cursor to the left of the horizontal intercept, or the zero which in this case means above, let's say here, press enter, and now it's asking for a right bound. We move the cursor to the right of the zero or horizontal intercept, which in this case is below, press enter. When it says guess, press enter, and we can see the ordered pair for this point is negative two comma zero, and therefore the zero is x equals negative two. Let's calculate the zero on the right. Again, second trace for the calculation menu, two for zero, we need to move the cursor to the left of the rightmost horizontal intercept. We are to the left, but let's move closer. Let's say here, press enter. And now the right bound is going to be in this case above. Let's say here, press enter. When it says guess, press enter. The order pair for this horizontal intercept is four comma zero, and therefore the zero is x equals four. Let's record this on the graph. And now to write the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, we know a, the coefficient of x squared is one. Let's let r sub one equal negative two and r sub two equal positive four. It doesn't matter which zero is r sub one and which zero is r sub two. So now we have a or one times the quantity x minus r sub one is x minus negative two, and then times the quantity x minus r sub two is x minus four. 
Simplifying, we can leave off the one. X minus negative two simplifies to x plus two. The factored form is the quantity x plus two times the quantity x minus four. For the second example, we have the expression x squared minus eight x plus 15. To factor this graphically, we graph y equals x squared minus eight x plus 15. And again, I already have the graph here, but let's go ahead and graph it on the T84. So we press y equals, we clear the existing function, and enter x squared minus eight x plus 15. We already have the standard window, so let's just press graph. And again, we can see the horizontal intercepts occur at x equals three and x equals five. Because they're so easy to determine, we won't go through the calculation process again. Let's record this information on our graph. We have one horizontal intercept at the ordered pair three comma zero, and the other at five comma zero. So to write the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one, times the quantity x minus r sub two. We now know that a, the leading coefficient, is one. Let's let r sub one equal three, and r sub two equal five. Which means we can write the given expression as one times the quantity x minus three, times the quantity x minus five. Simplifying, we can leave off the one, the factored form of x squared minus eight x plus 15 is the quantity x minus three times the quantity x minus five. The nice thing about factoring is we can always determine this product to make sure we do get the original expression. I hope you found this helpful.